This motion picture will help you learn how to operate the Fennell Lens Optical Landing System and how to evaluate and analyze system functions. In order to film under maximum conditions, this was shot aboard the USS Independence at Dockside. There are four major component areas aboard ship where equipment of the Fennell Lens Optical Landing System is maintained. The Fennell Lens Optical Landing System Room, the Primary Flight Area, the Landing Signal Officer Area, and the Deck Edge Equipment Area. The Fennell Lens Optical Landing System Room, better known as the Floss Room, houses the A100 Power Panel Assembly, which provides individual circuit switching and contains the stabilization loops for point mode operation and the lighting control circuitry. The A1000 disconnect and monitor assembly provides power indication and switching. The A500 line stabilization panel assembly containing stabilization circuitry for line mode operation. The A720 remote control panel number two provides system readout indications and permits the system to be remotely controlled from the floss room. The A820 dynamic hook to ramp remote control panel number two permits remote control of hook to eye settings and provides setting indications of hook to eye and hook to ramp. The A140 source light failure indicator assembly. The A190 low cell flasher assembly or the A1400 low cell flasher assembly under service change 17. And the boost transformer. The primary flight area or pry fly includes the following control panels. The A710 remote control panel permits system readout and control of the system from the pry fly area. The A810 dynamic hook to ramp remote control panel, which gives hook to eye and hook to ramp indications and permits remote control of hook to eye settings. The landing signal officer area called the LSO area, has the following system indicators and controls. The A730 LSO panel includes readout information as to the condition of the system and provides the LSO with brightness control and also controls the cut lights and the wave off lights. The LSO area is equipped with the A830 LSO hook to ramp monitor, which indicates the hook to eye distance. The hook to ramp indicator gives hook to ramp distance. The deck edge equipment for the system consists of the A400 assembly located on the off deck boom port side of the flight deck. Before operation of the system, make sure that the lamp filters and the lenticular lenses are clean. Caution, use only fresh water and a mild solution of soap. Other cleaning agents may damage the lens. The first step in operating the system is to establish communications between all system installation stations. The floss room, pry fly, the LSO area, and the deck edge position. Now, Light off the system according to standard operating procedures as listed on the maintenance requirements card. 
Perform the daily system check according to the checkoff list on the maintenance requirements card. This is the basic angle check, an important part of the daily system check. Ensure that the remote control panel number two basic angle dial indicates four degrees. At the deck edge, the pitch drive dial and the deck edge response meter in the floss room should indicate four degrees, zero minutes. Next, position a man 69 feet aft of the indicator assembly. Adjust the remote control panel number two source light brightness to the lowest level which will allow a sharp presentation at 69 feet. Now, place a piece of black tape across the center line on the lenticular lens of the center cell assembly. Set up the sighting pole on the flight deck at the 69 foot position aft of the face of the center lens. Hold the sighting pole perpendicular to the deck and sight through the sighting hole. The sighting hole is to be 54 and a half inches above the deck. Line up the tape on the center cell to intersect the light bar. Set the basic angle on the remote control panel number two to six degrees. Then slowly return the basic angle to four degrees. At the 69 foot position, check the height of the light bar presentation above the deck. It should be 54 and a half inches plus or minus half an inch. Set the basic angle on the remote control panel number two to three degrees. Then slowly return the basic angle to four degrees. Take another reading at 69 feet. It should read 54 and a half inches. Now perform the roll angle test. The values given are for CVA-62. Check the latest aircraft recovery bulletin for the proper values for your ship. First, set the basic angle to 3.5 degrees at the remote control panel number two and the roll angle to a setting of one. Place the sighting pole on the angled deck center line 152 feet forward of the ramp. Hold the sighting pole perpendicular to the deck and observe the light bar and datum lights from the 10 foot mark. The datum lights and bar should line up. Now at the remote control panel number two, set the roll angle control to 7.5. Place the sighting pole at the 152 foot position forward of the ramp on the angled deck center line. Now from the 15 foot 10 inch position on the sighting pole, observe that the light bar is lined up with the datum lights. Now remove the tape from the center cell. Perform the deck edge response meter check according to the checkoff list on the maintenance requirements card. Set all brightness controls to a level of six. Exercise caution when setting brightness levels. At night, excessive brightness can cause a phantom or false meatball to appear to a pilot whose aircraft is approaching but not yet on the glide slope. Now set all controls for normal operation. In summary, 
We have made sure the lamp filters and lenticular lenses are clean. We have used the checkoff list on the maintenance requirements card and followed the recommended steps in lighting off the system and performing the daily system check, including the basic angle check, the roll angle check, and the deck edge response meter check. Remember that excessive brightness can cause improper meat ball identification. The Fennel Lens Optical Landing System is a vital aid to pilots when performing landings aboard your carrier. Your operating skills will help to make these landings safe and accurate.